Well, good morning. It's Buddy with Gemini Homestead. And as y'all can see, we're working. It's uh, been raining, but it's slacked off today. So we out here trying to uh, get a little something in for a start of garden. You know, we didn't have much to uh, here to work with. So it's all a fresh start. We have, uh, what we've done is we laid our grower solution ground cover that we brought from the old place and laying out a base where we're gonna build a ground, uh, greenhouse. And it's gonna be 15 by 20. And we were so blessed that some friends of ours, Lane and Chip Bison, uh, donated us some greenhouse panels. So that'll be coming, but we're gonna go ahead and lay this out. We gotta get the stuff for the structure. And what size are those to. panels that they Those panels off? are like uh, seven by 12. Yeah. And so I'm on, that, I got enough right now. Just need some structure to make this right here into a greenhouse, but can't do it today. So we're gonna start with containers, lay them out where we're gonna have them in the greenhouse, go ahead and plant. Lippy's gonna get to planting. Y'all remember my blue buckets? Remember well, the blue buckets from down there? Some of them we could salvage and yeah. we brought them with us. We brought them. What we could, what we could salvage. So that's where we uh, are at right now. And we are uh, going at it. It's mighty muggy out here, but I'm sure proud for the heat. But this is so much better than having nothing, y'all. Yeah. You know, we're starting from scratch. You got to start somewhere. And um, we sure can't go where our future garden's going to be because we've lost. Wanda Danny gave us some potato, melted us some uh, potato slips. They were dug slap up. Yeah. So we're going to have to put it closer to the house. Um, Wildlife will get it if you yeah. don't, until we can get some fence and structures built. But we're so blessed to be able to have this, you know, so we were able to bring a lot of stuff from the old place. I've been digging, been, been finding, digging. it's been like Christmas. Speaking of digging, I'm gonna take y'all to my new, uh, I don't have a porch, but I have a carport that we turned into a little corner makeshift patio area. Um, we did lose quite a bit of the bottoms, uh, the flat, the bottoms, yeah, what do you call them? Your bottoms for your pots. Yeah, for my pots. So, you know, they busted all up, but he happened to have some new oil pan drains. Never been used, brand new. So we Guess just what? them out of there. Lippy stole them. That's the bottoms to my pots. Hey, as long as I get some pretty color, as long as I get my herbs, and as long as I can sit and have my coffee, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. So I'm gonna take you over there while I take my little coffee break. I got to go start shoveling. Yeah. I'll shovel too. No, I drive the tractor. Yeah, you drive, I shovel. I'm gonna drive, he shovels, and then I plant. See, we have a routine, y'all. Yeah, we, <laughs> we do. Y'all got that, didn't you? Y'all got the routine. So I'm gonna sit here with my water a little bit on the warm side for coffee plus I'm restricting myself I've been drinking too much coffee so I'm gonna take me a water break and then we're fixing to fill up 18 blue buckets um, so I got to get out there and start shoveling here in a minute we were able to get some really good um, compost $20 for a trailer load um, that was a blessing. So we're fixing to fill those up and then we'll bring you back and show you what we've been able to plant. And I hate to go outsource, but y'all, I got another video coming. We're fixing to make a trip locally that I think is just amazing. And I'm real curious to see the plants that we may be able, you know, may be able to purchase. Um, there's a story behind where we're going, and I think it's an amazing one. So, I'm gonna drink my water. I gotta go shovel. You see, I'm drinking it very slow as he looks at me. What do y'all think? Here, I've got some parsley. And of course, my favorite pollinator is a geranium. I can grow geranium here in Kentucky. Yeah, I know, I keep sounding like I moved to like Alaska, but this is new. Um, I do have my original mint. Um, it survived fairly well. I did get another geranium, 
And then over here, I had to purchase the basil um, because it didn't survive, y'all. And then my lemon tree. Let me show you my lemon tree. Right there. See the little sticks? But it's got leaves on it, y'all. So I think it's gonna be okay. Now this was one of the disasters. Somehow oil, and we've tried to power wash it, got on all the cushions. I will have to replace this one. This is the worst one. So, okay, it didn't, you know, it's not a catastrophe, but you know, it is stained up. But let me show you over here. And here is my little patio. And it works perfect because there is still plenty of room, I'm gonna turn y'all, for my vehicle to come in. Look at that. Y'all, yeah. I think we're gonna call it a day. Yes. The only thing we gotta do is we've gotta try to locate some wood uh, bark. Some all natural wood chips. So we're gonna have to go into Paducah one day this week because- Go ahead and tell them what that's for. Well, Lippy uses it. So when you're watering, the dirt doesn't splash up and cause a fungus to the leaves. It also holds moisture on the top. And it holds moisture. I've got some Paralyte in here, but I tested and tuned that trick, or I guess call it a trick, probably five, six years ago. And I'm gonna tell you the ones that didn't have it developed some fungus, some yellowing, but the ones that did have it, I had no problems. So I've been please. using that method for a good four or five years, yeah. I guess. Yeah. So I think we did okay. We've got 18. But on this side, I've staggered pepper plants with different varieties of tomato plants. Oh no, baby, you messed up. What? I done slipped some more in when you didn't know it. We got 24 now. Hey, we got we 20. We started with 18, but I done hauled some more. Oh, okay. Well, see, that's right. See, we're... Mr. Willis, you done worked the <laughs> fire out of me. Well, how many buckets, though, did we end up from the storm that we was able to salvage? Actually, we got 24 here. 24 And here. then I've got uh, two double, there's two stacked together and one that's three yeah, you stacked can't pull together. Them, bust. It's not gonna come apart unless you break them. So we're just gonna use them like that. I drilled the holes. Now there was some holes in these, but he put. Uh, I actually put some more holes in it. Yeah, but what was them? Ta what's that tape stuff? Sir? Oh, I put the uh, HVAC tape where on the, the uh, hail had knocked the holes through the side. Put it on I the inside work, to hold the dirt in. But at the back, we got uh, just two uh, yellow squash, and then over here. Can you see along? Because I don't want to come off my my building. That remember, that's what we're going to do the greenhouse with. But you know, we brought all our trellises and all of remember that. Remember the trellis we had on the uh, Cherokee uh, where it pumpkin? was up off the ground. Well, that's kind of what I'm going to build here, but it's going right to be here. higher and be self standing. Uh, I'll support it to the ground and the and buckets. That's for my cucumbers. For the cucumbers, where she can walk under it. Right. But I'm not going to attach it to the building. But I got those trellises. We brought them. And so I think this is gonna be a good start. It's more than what we thought. We didn't think we were gonna be able to do anything um, because we're not set up for the gardening in the back. But this is gonna work out great. It's gonna be just enough to maintain because we still have so much left to do here, y'all. Oh, but I'm goodness. just tickled to be able to get these hands in some dirt and, and see life, see vegetables, see food grow. Even though it's at a minimal scale, it's still something better than nothing. And we will not have to water tonight because it is no, on its way. No, it's fixing to pour. Wind's picking up now and the storm's coming in. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to go further back, but we can't. We still have all of that clearing. Y'all, we got more all clearing. All that's coming out. We got more clearing to do, but I can show them though. Let me show them though. Yeah, take them and show them whatever you need. Let me see. Can y'all see the, I don't know if y'all can see. Can y'all see the, the fruit trees? Let me turn y'all. I don't know if you can see the fruit trees or not. Yeah, There's you can. More to come. So we got six fruit trees and they're doing fantastic, y'all. Um, so we're gonna end this. It's time for some coffee. I gotta rest up. We got supper coming. 
But yeah, this is uh, starting to feel really at home, y'all. Between my little patio and what we've done here, it's starting to to feel like home. You know how you uh, know when you're getting old? It takes oh. you twice as long to rest up as it did to get tired. <laughs> it's going to take me two days to overcome shielding every one of these buckets. Hey, Sweet I drove the Jesus. tractor, though. Well, I kind of got oh, stuck. Oh, let me tell you about that. Oh, Lord. I wish I'd have had the camera on during that. That was my uh, first haul, too. Well. First haul, go back there and I load up. I got buckets on the trailer with the lawnmower. I said, come on, take it up there. Well, we got gravel over here you can drive around. Oh, no, Miss Ma'am don't want to drive on the gravel. She I went mud we and Mabel. A, a one-inch rain last night. She went right on through the fresh stuff where you seen I had to uh, cover up for the electric line and get stuck. I have to go out there I and push her I hadn't been mudding in a while. I think it just... washed the lawnmower off. It called my name. Yeah. Terrible. Y'all, when I when I got stuck and he heard me, like, not moving and he turned. I just turned, turned around and said, shook my head. There wasn't nothing else I could do. I said, why are you going through there? We got gravel over here. I don't know what, I don't. She, I, I don't know. You know why? Because she don't never look where she's going. She all looking up over here. Yeah, I be making be sure around. my surroundings is Checking safe, y'all. Checking right over here. Not paying attention to what's going no, on No, right it's here. just called rubbernecking. And rubbernecking. I am the queen of rubbernecking out here. And it always gets me in a bind. Can't help it. But I we gotta go. You, I'm glad you do. Until next and time, y'all. I, I ain't short look. Oh, stand on your tiptoes <laughs> if you want to. God bless y'all. God bless everyone.